I am Nitesh Pradhan from LabVIEW Programming. It's a fifth number video in the series of LabVIEW Signal Processing. In this video, we will discuss how can we display our signal amplitude in the linear and decibel scale. Okay. So for that, we need to write one code. Open your LabVIEW. Open your lab view and come into the block diagram. Right click, create constant, and write. Here we'll generate one signal. Okay. Here I want to generate y equal to x square. Y equal to x square. So first I use this increment functions, increment button. Now I will square it. So for the square, I will use square functions. Right. First, we will display the output of this function. So for that, we'll use one waveform graph in the front panel and we'll connect this waveform graph with the output of this array. Okay, and run. Now you can see this is the it's a plot for y is equal to x square y is equal to x square so here if i will write y equal to okay so it is y okay y equal to x square this plot is y okay y equal to x square right now right click here come into enum take enum functions Increase the size, right click, edit items, here write down log read sum logarithm base 10, logarithm base 10 1 and second one is a linear li and e a are linear okay and it is the what selector After that, now we need one case structure that will control both conditions. So there is a case structure. In this case structure, one is the linear and one is the logarithm. So for the linear, so for the linear, we will transfer the data as it is. We will transfer the data as it is. Okay, for the linear, no need to change anything. And for the logarithm, we will use here log functions from the mathematical. Okay, no log, log function from the mathematics, elementary, exponential, log 10. 
ओके लॉग बेस टेन कनेक्ट दिस लॉग बेस टेन फंक्शन से ओके नाउ राइट क्लिक हेयर टेक सेम वे फॉर्म एंड कनेक्ट run so right now it is log value and it is linear value log value and linear value so now what is the advantage if we convert any log value into the linear value what is the advantage if we change any log value okay what is the advantage if we study okay so to know the advantage i will do one thing i will replace okay i am replacing one array element i am repl replacing the array element array element is the output of this output of this loop is a array output of, okay array element so in the fifth location in the index number fifth okay in the fifth location where the index value so for the one it will one two it will go four three nine four sixteen okay and fifth twenty five in the place of fifth five the value will be one fifty its element value and it is an index value okay in a normal condition in the location of fifth you will see the out changes it is 25 in the place of 25 it will be 150 okay so in the place of 125 in the place of 25 the value is in the place of 25 the value is 50 run if it is if it is in the linear if it is in linear show you will you can see there is a very small spike a very small spike okay a very small small spike but in the base log 10 the spike is high So here we can absorb the changes, we can absorb, we can read the changes in our signal. Okay. In our signal, we can read the changes in a decibel. Why? Because that spike is clearly visible. Why? Because the spike is clearly visible. Getting my point? Okay. You can observe the change in y axis when you will switch the linear to logarithm. Okay, so thank you for watching this video.